Hi, this is a demonstration of a robot arm project that I've been working on. I call this Project Janus because Janus was the god of motion. So this is the robot arm here. I bought this robot arm in a kit on, on eBay for, I think it was about $80. And this robot arm kit has got six different servo motors which control the different joints on the arm. The robot arm is connected up to an Arduino and the Arduino is running a sketch that I wrote which just waits for a signal over the serial port and uh, you just basically tells the robot arm what angle to what angle to set each of the servos to so it's connected via usb to my pc here and my pc is running this sketch and processing and this sketch and processing just has a number of sliders that allow me to change the values of each of the servos and thus control the, the different joints on the robot arm. So for example, this slider here allows me to open and close the gripper, whereas this slider here allows me to control the wrist, uh, I guess you'd call that the roll angle on the wrist, and this allows me to control the pitch angle on the wrist, whereas this allows me to control the angle on the elbow. And this here, yeah, allows me to change the, let's see, the base. Yeah, I can change the angle on the base to bring the robot arm here a little bit more over the table. So the cool thing about this project is I also use this, which is a leap motion. And the leap motion is able to track all of your finger and palm positions in 3D. So I, what I do is I use the leap motion and I track the gestures on the leap motion and I map those onto uh, the, the angles on the different various servo motors. And this allows me to control the robot arm by using my hand. So I'll show you how it works. So I'll put my hand into the leap motion space and then I'll show you the gestures that I'm tracking. So as you can see I could raise and lower the elbow joint by raising and lowering my palm position. And I can also rotate my palm or roll my palm around to control the palm roll on the robot arm. And then I can open and close my, my finger and my thumb which allows me to open and close the gripper. And then I, if I move my hand left or right like this, this controls the angle on the shoulder. And then if I pull back like this, this also controls the other angle on the shoulder. So as you can see, I'm able to get very accurate tracking and it feels really cool and very uncanny to be able to control the robot in this way. So the tracking is okay. It, it maps fairly accurately onto your movement. So you don't have to think too much when you're trying to figure out what to get the robot to do. Some of the gestures are not 100% maps because it's just the hand that this leap motion is tracking and not the full arm. So I'll show you. Uh, turn that over and I'll put this little spongy thing off a microphone in just to see if I can get the robot arm, if I can get Janus to pick up this little spongy thing. So first of all, I'm gonna move over here a little bit. Then I'm gonna pitch my arm. And then I think I'll push forward a little bit. I might've gone too far. If I lower, then I'm going to lower the elbow, yeah. And then I should be able to pitch my, my hand a little bit, or yeah, there we go. And then if I close the gripper, I should be able to pick up this little thing. Here we go. And then I'll be able to drop it as well. Oh, it's got stuck in the arm. It's got stuck in the gripper, actually. Okay, I'm going to turn that over. I'll try that again. There we go. And I should be able to let it off over here. And it'll drop. So that's my gesture controlled robot arm project called Project Janus. The source code for this project is on my Git repository. I'll put the link in the comment section. And if you want to add any comments or suggestions for improvements, one thing I plan to do with this project is try and get it controllable over a network so that I could be in one room and the robot could be installed in a different room, maybe on the different side of the world, and you can have your movements on, in one location tracked and reproduced by the robot arm in a completely different location. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.